during the past several years, there has been a corner, part of a table, scratched in the under, there for a while, now, a name, in effect, that you stuck there, to stay stuck, without you, as if you had gone away, but to wait for you to come back to it, and never to let you forget that it is waiting. The name is Clearing House, or the name is Scenario, or the name is Notional 0.944, or Ben. Ben! That will do. That's enough to be going on with, for now. Say to it, you're scared of the foreseeable. You are going blind with love. As an example, imagine that A buys protection on Amgen, snoring in the lake of mud, making eye contact by staring, before they are sent back to the disgrace of death to face the owner of the reference assets, often the originator, past caring, to meet their maker, in essence, like a market, to put the bomb back in the event of default, where screaming, chip or sighing, lift, clearing house and bend, get to prudently peel each other's eyes, fussing over reality like a cuticle, moderated, but incensed. Not once a credible counterparty in the CBS. Think of the flower cut to a symbol, printed in the surface of a river, flowing over infant spicules, bursting ever slower to a shore where you simultaneously cut down to make a bunch, left holding yourself with your pants down, agreeing to pay the swap premiums, based on the perceived probability, occurring in the reference assets, contracting actuality, one long since already put away but now recalled because combustible toy at a time. The scenario is like that. One of those, a kind of corduroy elephant with plastic eyes, foam tusks, your teeth stuck in its neck, going turquoise, gaping, spitting out the filaments, whatever, you just make the shit up, whatever, and so on. How many bones are in the sea? Take a look, then look away. Since, according to the replacement figure in Duncan Smith, behind every statistic there is a human being as a support mechanism, shot in inflammable memory foam, when, though it is safe to say, never but since the size of the notional CDS market in mid-2007 was roughly twice the size of the US stock market, valued at about 22 trillion, and thus far exceeded the 7.1 trillion mortgage market and 44 trillion US treasuries market in what those of Syrian symmetry scarcely mock in vain, waking up every day, slouching into the shower to be born, keeping yourself over the edge of the bath, switching on the water, and standing up, upright, under the torrent, where the words are fairly falling, caustic, straight cascades. Pick that flower, tick that symbol, printed in a wrist of outstretched seconds, burst through to cut, to light, a way to look, look away, containing a productively lost but prokaryotic parody of a hedge with a massive gaping mouth, a sofa for teeth, and a tongue of gelatinous genitals peeking in berries and cross-licking swallows, obligated to glisten from the muck on the hunger strike in paradise, sat on as a joke, it is safe to say, as a result, craving triggers, hurt me, here, hurt me, here, hurt me, here, notional 0.944, hurt, rip me a form of teak, speak for yourself, let yourself go, damn you fucking log. <laughs> hurt me here, hurt me here, when there is no way to keep hold of the pipe gummed up in a lump of Marseille's concrete too long ago, midway up the staircase, you swilled in, locked in by shadow either side, but with that instant split your teeth, if they can't shut on it, here, or the air, that still, now, this day, this very minute, dispatched in coats of breath about that shoebox of a landing, with the same intent previously dreamt for it at the distant moment of that single turn, when, probably, Drunk, it had to be captured, so it was, or so you would. You're fine as you are, as now you are here. There is no way back to be again caught in the same act, not doing anything, just looking, etched with the sight or image of that concrete and the pipe gun in it, only a corner of which ever got to bulge out. It's not about you, who, peeling your fingers one at a time, not alone, with a single stroke, reach for your face and brush the tips over, to find things just as they were, and with each brush of the tips over each feature of your face, to delete that, that one, that feature, to discover completely, as though simply by touching yourself you could wipe yourself out, slow in foam, so that with a single touch your neck vanishes, and with another touch your chin, and with another touch the hair on your eyelid, and with another touch 
another you. In their place comes another only face, yours, but for real, by magic, for another only life. A face you will be left to knead and fold that neck, that chin, that hair, that by this act are in this way discovered, not now, but as if only. There for you, always underneath, as though you'd been stuck on top, gonzo icing, and as with this light rush at your fingertips, you simply go, leaving out everything that had intervened, or will, and making the only person that you ever really loved actually come back, and making that person actually come back again, and making them come back again, and making that person into a control, like a kind of handset, and being there in the same way as that handset, and looking at that handset like Ben does, at the face that you used to have before the face that you now have was stuck on it, smothering it, a squid of grout, and before being gone, had been made what it is now. Before being gone was so easy, before everyone started being gone all the time, before being gone had become a boring irrelevance, before being gone could even apply to a person like that, or such like who, now gone, can go on, as if nothing is left, or Nothing were there for that silence to be now but this, the sound of borrowed time, sentenced to die as if this were the way it is, so far gone and so beautiful that being gone but being able like that to be brought back again only by the tiny Russian fingertip, like the flat across the face with no intent that in an instant or in no time or Nothing like it wipes out everything fucked up since and strips you to the face scratched under it that by now might almost never have been had might almost not have been you. It is so gone. It's just how things are. That things are not bearable, and things are simpler for that. Your face is only now put up, the mackerel almost touches. Now the night is sober, on a plank too low to bleed, whose overlong desired only point you first remember where it hurts. That the least wind dissembles like water, pumped out of an eyeball on the blink. Every word of this proof that free speech is a fantasy means everything you say it does whenever you repeat these words to me, emptying your mouth into the river of my clutches, desperate to stick out when the victims are selected. Watch this language move across the world as you follow it to a body never meant to see your light go out. I will love you until I die and try to be the thing you need. This mind first has to guess the right reality to live after, bringing in the truth the moment evil is corrected, mashing up Wednesday until even an abyss can swallow it, which only goes to show that sorrow isn't what it means. I never could believe that love didn't have to kill me, stuck to the fence behind the scrap of trees, in progress, past the children shouting at the night, over the dog shit, to the limit of the little rectangle of grass provided for the local recreation of the poor, where I had to run away with you when you scooped me at night to watch you dying, fitting your pills into the stomach I would take to be pumped out so I can live, right up to the far curve of the pro hieratic blank, where politics takes over and the secret earth is turning, so the right it cannot but enlarge the organ that contemplates it. Only think of power and the theft of our potential, from Sicily, the underside of every loose incisor, to Syria in dream, whose suicide is distant memory, a job for life for anyone who makes it there alive. Without me, you would come until the universe came to. I think of you and wonder why I live. But the other, in the night of love's slow animation that you paid, that also made you clean with such an alien between escape of shadow falling slower over into paradise. But there is nothing more difficult than to make these earthly providences believe that. And later, idiotic like infancy, this meaning is too full for its containment. I'm sitting writing this in a bar, doing what in joy and alcohol addictions portraits is called defining a private world. <laughs> According to their poster next to the church opposite the mash time where I first met my love, and therefore where, in effect, the origin of this voice is deposited across from the staircase up to the therapy centre where I am between five and ten minutes early, in order to be sitting thinking when I am called, where a voice that is not mine but is inside me begins saying unkind things, like, this time it is the proprietor of the gathering zone who had died where people are shocked and confused, not because she's young or any not any time when people have to die, yet to really do it, no, she was old and still in that time when we're not there yet. Be patient, because when we do die, it is a shock and it is confusing. Not some of my heard who have seen Obviously not immortal, but without seeing how she did it, inherent in life, somehow, the one there for the taking, 
and for the not being able to take, and for the going on not being able to take, take my life, strangle me in your veins, forever going on about how she's done with being told what to do and how to live her life, what to eat for tea, where to be in the afternoon, prior to the basement down into the pre-reality, save for early evening before the reality sets in at night and is not going to be dictated to on the topic of drift or extracted from starvation, real, fake or mental, once having been a meal, but is past being about to eat what she's told or made to stop fixating on spiral and specks of adhesive and teeth, picked up a cuticle without end, voiding the skin across the sky or thumb, might still be a bit, but if that is what this means, if that is what she wants, then she will do it for a change. Shut the fuck up, assembled in a ball, cross-legged, sexual, gasping for mud, to all appearances induced on the brink of disintegration. Never before, after we're two, why I, we know, saying how, why, when, why her, what now, how much, where to now, where are you, does it work, where the fuck are you, calm out of planet, rewritten by a door, salivating code, say no more, because there is nothing to worry about, shut the fuck up, recycling the symbols, and tracing the bars of some optimal wicker, a likewise escapable finger of mine, I said back to her, people live, do their best for a while, carry on in their better mind, they are somewhere, sometimes they are nearby, or are swept away, longer than pain, because gone, others fill in, and as I said this to her, I grew conscious, as in the memory of a dream, that it was hurtful, and frightening that I was carving a scoop of our common head out, the one we already share, like with an ice cream scoop, one with a button in the handle, and then my magic trick and only from you appeared in my head and in my hands, which now live in my head, and it was addressed to me. And it read, Hey little Christian, always fussing about the same others. Last night you took care of us all until you passed out. It was good. The next time, you need to just not do anything. Just keep still. Let it go. Shut the fuck up. That was the kindest thing I had ever heard. For if not the kindest and the most considerate breath of mind I had felt, the most uninsistently caressing brush of tongue or hair over a retina cakey skin I had not needed to blink out or immediately lacerate and die. Thank you, because it made me look sideways and see another man who will be much more important later get up, though he could lie down too, or slump, signally, secretively, that he was not about to miss this opportunity to stride down the aisle and officiate over the death of this person, who, however, he had never met, though he might have heard of her in his way, a way likely to be painful and boring for everyone, and a waste of time, because he would assume that he had the more or less God-given authority to deliver the concluding remarks, originally whosoever, and when they arrived, they would be the same for everybody. In substance, that here is a person who might well have been good or turned out kind or positively annihilated with love and conscience, but that this is immaterial because the only thing that matters is being a poet. And by looking at him as he stood up and was about to do this sideways with your eyes flowing through my soul, I could prevent it by turning to face the front where the world is. So thank you, and thank you also for being on the other side of this thin partition last night. I should have been blown up. I should have been in my rage, should have pressed the back of my head against the room's edge with the little circles on, but instead I was just irritated. I didn't know, because nobody told me, as the loud, painful music was blasted out everywhere, I couldn't find, and I thought it was you, but to my credit, I eventually knew it was me, right as I noticed the incredible massive stereo next to my bed, behind a partition with the separate layers that you used to want to get, and instantly set about switching them off one by one. The tape deck, the CD player, the amplifier, and not getting anywhere because it was the radio, because I never got to choose the music, because I have never made it loud enough, because it's never my turn, because who else is even listening but me, because there's no one else here but for the proprietor of the gathering zone. It is a professional manufacturer of all types of swing bearings, non standing bearings, heavy, large, smooth bearings, special use bearings, non standard bearings, integrating the search, relying on the largest. Production days for potential technical ability, she used to say, and we have advanced technical equipment, and we have perfect inspection equipment, and we have strong technical strength, and experienced professional staff, dead, no surprise there, a serious team, brains rotting a song you like chipboard in bottle, and I am sorry I won't go. I didn't know how thin it really was. I knew you were there, but I knew it was a different time zone there. I didn't think you'd be awake. I thought it would hurt to disturb you. I don't know that it's me. 
I don't know that I'm me. I couldn't say a word because I can't, because I couldn't, because how could I? Because how could you? Because how could we? And because it's just music, and because I can't pick it, and because it's just for now, and because I did turn it off, and because I did stop making you eat your vegetables, and because I did stop kicking you in the head and telling you that you're dying in effect all the time, over and over again, you're dying. But being capable of opening my mouth without a gold stream of spitfuls of amethyst and safety pins, very indifferent, flying out to spite you. I lay down in your arms, obscurely stuck and horizontal, with my head as if instilled to cancel visibility, and only the hinge of my body blows that love's still mistakable shadow content loops your hand, dear, far away you. It's so rare to be touched with any meaning that the instant doesn't do away with it as soon as memory is ready, pointing at the buildings on the fire escape in May, conscious of the legs your mother had you to stand out on. Because her promises are in reality unbreakable, Everything you want will come back as the inability to love it for the way it can't be held, or hold you close to life too distant for this fucked head to go on with. I put this symbol to my lips and try to be a tunnel. The tip goes in easy, but there's a safe word under it, impenetrable to the burnt out mouth, it still cracks open. I thought of you all day, in other words, and went to bed, wanting you to do it for me again. My body is lonely, lost, trying to get out, stuffed with invisibility. The back of life is covered in your scratches till the end. Of me, I hold off every split in time. I cannot think of anything but you. Your pressure is this world to me. Flush in the flood of your joy, I am sped up, fucked forever. The music coming through the wall is not real. This is ours for the steep schizoid rim, plastic cascading in Araby. Your society, war of elation, the lift to the terminal secrecy, bright by desire, bewildered in mirrorless eyes, bent into. There is not pain enough left in this world for me to feel, far enough inside you to complete my one desire, ever to be screaming, to not only singing, ducking, for my lonely mortal body, only meant for you. Amazed that there is so much left. I expect to get it, to want you more, to want this not to end, and I will be early. Later, I will be thrilled by how early it actually still now is, and how much time there is, despite its overall futility, for everyone but you, because they can't see through it, despite living in poverty and not forever eating, being beaten up, scared to say what is happening, too lonely for friendship, but continuing to try, because otherwise the only place to hide is where you are most visible, and hardest and most dangerous to everyone but you, where the angles cover up for flat love in an empty shadow to make light of blindness burn a second time. Effervescent, absolute fucking contracts into equality, gets its destiny on earth where all you need to know is that truth is beauty and that this too is equivalent if you say so often enough, avoiding the deep pitfall, ecstatic at the sight of what we have to leave behind. I don't care. I don't know what it is, but this is it.